So you've seen the picture. Now you can see what I actually did to it. Us as shooters, we all have our things that we like to do to our frames. Of course, you see the theme of mine always being green. So, let me pop this off. First thing I did is put a lanyard on it. Now, I braided this one out of micro paracord. I'll try to get it to focus there. stuff super strong 100 pound test for a single strand absolutely great stuff now i can make a loop like that and have it there it's accessible or i can take this loop and use it as a slip knot on the other fork of the bottle opener side and now I have a standard wrist loop that I can twist to tighten or whatever needs to happen I also threw on green tubes instead of the black ones that came with it they look to be about 1632 and I colored in the oak forge with a sharpie fine point really difficult to see it but I like the logos to pop and last but not least I hit it up with some of the wrap all of you guys watching my channel know that I absolutely loved the wrap I did keep it off on one side it looks kind of odd as it's not even but I didn't want to cover the logo they did great quality work it's beautiful frame great instructions came with it can be used as a fist pack. It's recommended to shoot it this way, not as the fist pack. Has about a one and a quarter inch fork gap. These are one inch squares, and then the dots are at the quarter inch intervals. So just a hair under, depending where you measure it from. Now, don't expect me to do super great with it. Pickle fork are not my thing. It does not deter me, though. It is an absolutely great and a fun little frame. I absolutely love the thing. One of the favorite frames in my collection. Quality craftsmanship all the way. Great packaging, great instructions. I will get a shot of those right now. All right, I'm back. Let's zoom out a bit. Here is their info. Go ahead and pause that, copy that down, visit them, check them out. Absolutely some amazing work, not just slingshots. And it came in the box course you know you've seen it all in the pictures a patch and sticker always great to get some swag a beautiful little note hold that there for a second you guys can throw that on pause if you want to read it and then we have the instructions as well I will zoom in on that for you guys. My tripod is squeaky moving the camera. I apologize. Then on the back side, I have how to retube it. And the bands that came with it were absolutely nothing wrong with them. Great band set. I just, I like my green theme. So, again, 
Don't expect me to go rattle that can a whole lot. I've got it set up at 10 meters. I'm going to be shooting some clay. Let's go out and have some fun. Now, I apologize for the wind. Again, we are shooting the Horny Monster from Oak Forge. Going to be using some 3 8 clay ammo. So let's get this going and see if I can hit it. Don't expect much, folks. I am behind the camera because I figure I'm probably going to have to move the camera up. That missed it by about a foot and a half. I am tweaking the pouch, pickle fork style. Now that one was close. Right under it. Right under it again. At least I'm consistent. See, now you have heard me, hopefully some of you that I've talked with and instructed and taught how to shoot have heard me say that and you get frustrated when I tell you, you know, don't frust get frustrated, it's okay to miss. Look at my misses, let's keep this streak going. Oh, right next to it again. Again, I am tweaking the pouch. Oh, I thought I was going to have that one. Everyone felt good. Everything felt good. Hey, all right. Woo, look at that. It was even a good square centered hit. Let's see if I can do it again. Oh, had it not been swinging, I would have got it. Now, I am shooting semi butterfly too. So there's a few different things that are occurring here. I will move up, so hopefully I am in frame so you can see. Well, it's clay balls. I'll shoot a different direction. So, I am having it back here, well past my ear, and I am doing the pouch tweak. Now, like I said, it's a one and a half inch gap, or sorry, excuse me, one and a quarter inch gap. You don't have to tweak the pouch. If you have your anchor point down and everything like that, you can shoot TTF. And yes, this would be considered a true through the forks as the band orientation your ammo is centered it's not over the top that is truly through the fork so again i'll hopefully i am in frame come down a little bit It almost sounded like it scraped, or it did sound like it scraped, but I don't see anything. Maybe that ball was oddly shaped a hair or something like that. Let's do another one. Horny monster through the fort. Alright. Just gonna tweak the pouch now again. Take a close shot where y'all can see me. I'm at about five yards, six yards. I just barely grazed it. Butterfly and Pickle Fork are two that I am working on. 
How can I miss when I'm closer, huh? If I was any sort of more consistent, I would say let's go for a can cut. We'll go for one more hit and then wrap it up. All right, there it is. The Horny Monster from or Oak Forge. Check them out, everybody. Absolutely an amazing, great little pocketable frame. No lanyard included, no green bands included. No wrapping included. Check them out. Absolutely amazing. A fun little toy. You have your fist pack. You have your slingshot. You have a bottle opener, which I made sure not to interfere with when I braided that up. Absolutely a cool little piece of kit. Simple, stupid, easy band changes. There it is, stripped down. Go check them out. Thanks for watching. As always, stay safe, shoot straight, and God bless. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video if you enjoyed it.